Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, and back to the World Puzzle Federation 2015 Round 8, which was a series of puzzles created by puzzle creators from the United Kingdom. This is a 50-point diagonal Sudoku created by David McNeil. Um, so this one is starting to ramp up the difficulty a little bit. Um, and of course, there'll be a link in the description below to this puzzle, as well as to the entire World Puzzle Federation archive. So... Let's have a look at the rules and then give it a try. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then each digit appears exactly once on the two main diagonals. So these two main diagonals are nine cells long and must contain each of the digits without repetition as well. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So like with all of these puzzles, I want, kind of want to try and start with Sudoku. So four and four are looking down, saying there's no four in any of those. Four can't go there, so four goes here. And now I can ask about four on this negative diagonal, because if you were to plot this, this has a negative gradient. Four can't go in any of those, and four can't go in any of those. But I need to put a four on the diagonal. It must go in one of those three. That four is looking down, saying no four there. Now, four must also go in one of the, uh, can't go in any of those or any of those. So four must go in one of those four on the positive diagonal. So this becomes a four right in the center of the grid. Nice gimme at the start. Okay, so four and four puts four in one of those two, which means that's a four. Four and four puts four in one of those two, which means that that's a four. And I've done all the fours. We have a four beginning. One in this box can't go in any of those. So that becomes a one. So these digits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, six, and eight. There's no three there, which means three is down in one of those two. One on this diagonal can't be in any of those or any of those. So one is in one of those two. This one says not there. So this is the one. One, uh, not sure. Four, six, eight. <laughs> three on this diagonal is in one of those three cells. I'm not sure how that's helping me yet. Eight in, well, this is a six, eight pair. Where do I put six and eight in this box? I don't put them in those cells because of those two and the others are full. This is a six, eight pair. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one and nine. These are one and nine which does restrict this down to a quadruple. Maybe? All I know is my gut tells me maybe. Yes, I'm quoting TV shows. I always quote stuff on my channel. It's what I do. I can't be reasoned with or stopped. Um, one can't appear in any of those because of the two ones I placed. This one looks across saying not there, so it's here. Now, one on this diagonal can't be in any of those three or any of those. It has to be in one of those three. And both of those, oh, these two ones are looking down saying one is not there. So this is the one. Or I could have used the one nine pair. Yeah, great. Okay. One, one, uh, can I go further with ones? One is in one of those two, and I get an X-wing on ones, which I, I can't use. Other people might be able to use, but I cannot. Right. Five is in one of those two by Sudoku because of the fives. That's been there since I got the four, but not there. This is N5. So five and five makes that N5. So these are a quadruple, two, six, eight, and nine. So this can't be six or nine. So this is only two or eight. Hmm. The diagonal will do something more at some point. It will be helpful, I promise. One, two, three, four, five is up here in one of those two. Six, seven, eight, and nine is up here, but I'm not sure where. Interestingly enough, nine has to be in one of those three cells. And down here, nine can't be there or there. 
Nine can't be there because of this nine. So nine is in one of those two on the diagonal, which means that's not a nine, but I'm not sure if it's telling me enough. What's this quadruple? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, seven, two, five, seven, nine. Well, that's not a nine. This isn't five. I don't think that helped me at all. I think I just over pencil marked. Although when solving these puzzles, sometimes you need to do that to find the hidden stuff. Or at least sometimes I need to do that to find the hidden stuff. I've got all the fours. Stop looking for fours, Bremster. Okay, eight in this column. Eight in this column. This eight is saying there's no eight there. So I can't put eight in any of those cells. Eight is in one of these three, but this eight is saying there's no eight here. So eight is in one of those two. What's this triple? Because I've got a triple in column five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, three, nine. So these are one, three, nine, and this can't be a three. So there's a one, nine pair. That is a three. Three and three means this isn't a three. This is a three. Now, where can I put three on the diagonal? Still there or there, okay? But this is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. And nine must be in one of those two. Can I reduce that any further? Well, uh, nine is in one of those two. Three is in one of those two. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? But I could put three and three and nine up here and release the freedom. But what if this is one of them? It forces the three or the nine up here. So if I find this to whatever, if I find this to be something other than a three or a nine, I get some forcing going on. Nine is in one of those two. What can this be now? Can't be one. It could be two. Can't be three, four. Could be five. Can't be six. Can't be seven, can't be eight, can't be nine. This is only two or five. Unexpected, but true. Seven is in one of those two. Three is in, oh, this has been here for, for, this has been here since the beginning and possibly would have helped me. Where's three in box two? Three is not in those, three is not there. This is the three. And now where's three on this diagonal? Three is in one of those two. The three is looking up saying not there. That makes this the three. I can't put three on the diagonal. I can't put three on the diagonal. I can't put three there. I can't put three there. This is the three, meaning this is the nine. I can't put nine there. I can't put nine there because of the one nine. Can't put nine there because of that. These are full. Nine has to go in one of those, but that nine can't be a nine because of, oh, nine has to go up here. So this become the nine, which makes this the five. If I'd noticed the three earlier, although all of the other work I'd done did actually help me to put a lot more in without having to rediscover. So, you know, wasn't too bad. I mean, it was atrocious solving, but it wasn't too bad for making progress. So this digit... Nine is down here somewhere. So nine is, yeah, this can't be a nine because nine has to be down here. This is not a nine. Nine is in one of those two. And that nine is looking up saying not there. This is a nine. So now nine isn't on the diagonal here, isn't on the diagonal here because of the nines here. So it is on one of those two. And the one nine is looking across saying that's not the nine. This is the nine. And now in this box, nine is in one of those two, but that, that nine, oh, I hate it when that pops up makes that the nine and these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, six, eight. That's not an eight. And that, don't know. Three and seven in this box. 
can't be in those cells and those are full. So this is a three, seven pair. So these are one, two, three, four, two, five. These are two and five. And that's resolved. Two and five because of this five. The two looks up saying this isn't the two. So this has to be a six or an eight for the column. So there's a seven in one of those two. And there's two seven eight in this row. So this is two or seven only, and this is seven or eight only, because it can't be two. What is missing in this column? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this is six, seven, or eight. So it's six or seven. This is six, seven, or eight, and it can't be eight. So that's a six, seven pair, making that the eight, which looks across, making that the two, which makes that the seven. This isn't the seven. This is a six or an eight. The two looks down, making that the eight, which makes that the six, which makes that the two. The six looks up, making that the eight and that the six. And now on this diagonal, yeah, the seven looks down saying, that's not the seven, that's the seven. The seven looks down saying, that's not the seven. And on the diagonal, I've got one, I don't have two, I've got three, four, I don't have five or six. So these are two, five, six, and there's a five or a six. So that's the two, that's the five, that's the six, making that the eight. The six makes that the seven, and the five makes that the two. This column one, two, three, four, there's missing a five. So I can take five out of those, which lines up with the five I just placed in the column. The seven looks up making this the six, which works for what I've got here. Excellent. So this is two or seven, and the seven is looking up making that the two, that the seven, that the two. I could have probably used the diagonal, like that seven making that the three and that the seven. This diagonal is missing a single digit. One, two, three three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a six. Not worried about speed, wanting to be clear. So the six makes this the eight and this the six, taking six out of those for either box or um, box or row reasons. Pick your own. The six looks down, making that the eight, which makes that the six. The eight looks up, making that the nine and that the eight. The nine looks down, making that the one and that the nine. Now I've just got a single box. So the one looks up, removing the one pencil mark, making that the one. These are the seven and nine that haven't been placed. And I just need to use any seven or nine in those columns to resolve it. 1151 for a 50 point puzzle. Again, really happy with that. Thank you, David McNeil, for the puzzle um, 10 years ago. I don't, the fact that these are old puzzles, I think still, I mean, it showcases just how amazing. Uh, there's been so much discussion, and I know I keep harping on this, but there's so much discussion about how amazing things are with all of these new constraints. I think some of the logic from these puzzles well before most of us got into it are absolutely phenomenal. And this is why I'm so glad that I found this amazing hobby. And I've been talking to not these setters, but a lot of setters who've been in the hobby um, since the, uh, the time this started, particularly people like Ashish Kumar and Akash Dulani. Um, and they're so welcoming and so wonderful. And they've been really generous and helpful to me. Um, and they're just, they're just wonderful people. And I've learned so much from them. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series and as always, good luck with your solving.